Here's how to install the new and improved 3M DBI Sala LAD Safe Flexible Cable Vertical Safety System. A permanently installed system, excellent for fixed ladders and telecommunications components than our previous LAD Safe system. Our new design is lighter and more streamlined to install than before, and we're proud to introduce that it meets the new ANSI Z359.16 standard when used with our X2 or X3 Traveler, helping you to stay up to date and in compliance with the current standards. While installing the system, be sure to wear the proper safety gear. Refer to the user instructions, which are included with your system for detailed instructions. Position the top bracket of the LAD safe system on the structure and install fasteners by hand. All fasteners are locking type to help prevent loosening due to vibration or other effects and to eliminate the need for additional washers or bolts. Ensure the nuts are installed so the locking end is facing out. Torque the fasteners to between 20 and 25 foot-pounds. The redesigned cable assembly connects to the top bracket in a more streamlined fashion. Simply rotate the lug to a 45 degree angle to the top bracket, press the spring gate back using the lug, and slide the top pin to rest within the top bracket. The new LADSAFE system is designed with a built-in energy absorber within the top bracket. The profile within the top bracket is designed such that during a fall event, the bracket material will flex and absorb some of the energy. Install cable guides approximately every 20 to 40 feet along the carrier cable. Be sure that the cable will not abrade against the structure. Additional cable guides can be added when needed to help prevent this. Refer to the user instructions for detailed instructions. Place the guide onto the ladder rung and hand tighten until it is secure. Torque the fasteners to between 20 and 25 foot-pounds. Insert the cable into the guide. The bottom bracket of the LADSAFE system should be positioned in a way that allows users the ability to maintain 100% tie-off while connecting or disconnecting from the system. Attach the bracket toward the bottom of the ladder, making sure it is mounted in line vertically with the top bracket. Install the fasteners until the bracket is secure. Torque the fasteners to between 20 and 25 foot-pounds. Position the tensioning nut onto the end of the tension rod so three to five threads are exposed below the nut. Insert the cable into the saddle clamps. Lift up on the tensioner assembly until the tensioning nut contacts the bottom washer. Torque the saddle clamp nuts to 35 foot-pounds. Tighten tensioning nut until groove is exposed above bottom bracket. Tighten the jam nut against the tensioning nut and cut off the excess cable. Install the LADSAFE system label, which includes an inspection and maintenance log and a 3M connected safety RFID tag onto the ladder. Mark the label with the installer's name, installation date, the system length, and the number of users permitted to use the system. Up to four users, depending on the system. Inspect the system under the installation checklist at the end of the user instruction manual. Check to ensure all fasteners are in place and properly tightened. Ensure the carrier cable is properly tensioned. Do not use the 3M DBI Sala LADSAFE system if the bottom of the cable is not secured and tensioned with the bottom bracket assembly. Inspect the top pin resting inside the top bracket and ensure that there is a 0.2 inch gap in the top bracket. Ensure the carrier cable does not abrade against the structure at any point. And finally, ensure the system information is recorded on the label and inspection log. Inspect the system before each use. To use, attach the 3M DBI Sala LADSAFE X2 or X3 detachable cable sleeve to the cable as directed in the user instructions and climb. Explore the full portfolio of 3M DBI Sala LADSAFE solutions including two-user and four-user systems, and galvanized or stainless steel systems for a variety of applications. If you have any questions regarding the use, care, application, or installation of this safety equipment, please contact 3M Fall Protection 3-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-